Hi, in the first, first part of this tutorial we have seen how to make custom interface uh, in Cinema 4D. As you can see, uh, since then uh, I changed a lot of things. Uh, it stopped uh, before I put uh, something here. So I start from there. Command Manager New Palette Put something that you want there here and drag where you want is a, a lot tricky not a little bit so how to get rid of it if you have done something wrong uh, pressing control make just it uh, contract you have to undock with the control key and then close and it's gone. Uh, there are also other way to do the same thing. Layout, new palette, and you have an empty palette. Layout, new palette, and one more. Now you open uh, something like this. The touch, you make it floating by letting the mouse on this then you go to edit palette join tool join tool way tool mirror tool Chain. I prefer the other way to do it because if you know what you are searching for, you find it. When you have uh, more than one palette done, you go out of the edit palette. And you simply drag the new one into the, the floating window. Uh, there are many things that uh, you can change. Mm, I prefer for, uh, to have a big icons. Uh, as this one start in, instead of this a record instead of this one uh, I find very tricky to add things using these small small buttons so I prefer to use these to hide things. This one uh, you can find it uh, here. You detach it and you have it at hand. So let's see if uh, this, um, this is useful. I changed also the default uh, uh, cube. You can do this. Uh, you prefer to have uh, something already subdivided. Edit set as default. If you want uh, the the usual cube, 
looking at the, at, at one. Of course you have also the keyboard shortcut and you can uh, map a new one uh, in the command manager. Pressing the space bar gives you back uh, the last one tool you have used. Press the control key you have to align all Something like that. I hope this is useful for someone. Thanks for watching.